Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. I am back baby don't call it a comeback thank you so much for everybody if you are new around here hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing and i am back to making videos i know it's been about a month since i have made a video and i know even then it was sparse at best i have been quite sick and of course with all the covid19 things going around on the internet and that sort of thing as you all know uh, i've been battling a lot of health issues coming around and I just I was working in another county I still do that I still drive but I haven't been doing it for the last couple of weeks because I have been self-isolated and self-quarantined um, because of being sick and I've been home I did not have my computers I didn't have my setup I didn't have any of that um, and even if I did I probably wouldn't have been able to talk or cough or you know I'd just be coughing through the whole thing or doing everything but I've been doing pretty well for the last few days uh, I have been at a on administrative leave from work and so you would think, oh, it's a great time to get a lot of videos done and make a lot of stuff. But in truth, I haven't done much of anything. I have been playing the game. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through uh, my account, what I have been doing, why I've been doing it, and that sort of stuff. As you guys can see, we're on my personal account right now. Um, I do have currently 19,695 drag coins. No, I have not purchased any drag coins at the present moment. As you can see, if we go into the shop, uh if we were sorry if we go into the up into the shop and over to the chess I have, or over into the bank I have not bought any of my personal rewards yet I mean, as you may know they you know they've doubled them for the first time they've switched these around a little bit uh cart of drag coins as I've told you guys before I am not sponsored or anything like that I am a game changer for the game but I'm not sponsored this is still the way to go um of course you know your first time you buy you get 3,000 drag coins um in your first premium tier bundle I did do that um, as you can see here in the shop if we go over to the chest I did do the premium chest as you can see right so I, I did do that one that's worth doing um, I think buying those carts and opening up 10 chests is definitely the way to go for new players if you're going to uh, you know want to spend some money on the game is definitely the way to go um, as you know, uh, I, I have spent money in the game. I have not spent any money recently because of, you know, of course, the health concerns and that sort of stuff. Uh, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope if you have um, anyone who has suffered from this, uh, you know, the COVID-19 scare um, and that sort of stuff has suffered from it. I hope, you know, my thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. All of you stay safe out there and I hope everything goes very, very well. Uh, we are on my personal account. Here is what I currently have going on. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, characters to unlock. I have not unlocked I, any of them. General Murdoch, which you all know I got. Renara, I did get. I completely didn't do anything on Renara. I just put, put, got her. I have struck Instructor Gorum up to uh, seven stars. I just haven't unlocked him yet. Um, Ren the Unseen. Uh, Philia here of 260. I have not unlocked. Um, you know, 80 shards because of the last tournament. I missed him the first time around. I'm almost done with Shadar. Um, Zara. I'm going to do a video on her. She's quite good. In fact, I think she's going to be meta defining, meta breaking. Um, as you can see it, at the top of some of the leaderboards, I think she's up front. She counters Soleus very, very well with her maximum leadership ability here. I spent a good bit of the morning trying to catch up um, on a lot of what's going on in the community, uh, what's going on in the game. I do plan on doing a state of the game video that's going to be coming out as well. Um, I'll post that video tomorrow. Uh, I am testing uh, some of the other stuff right now the new event we only have just a few days uh before more doom comes out get your humans ready uh get your humans ready obviously there was an update today to the game dropping a new human uh new human healer uh whose name i don't remember off the top of my head but she's kind of uh, selena that's right uh as i like to call her harry potter female harry potter i think she's actually quite cute i like the glasses uh but she does remind me of the female harry potter um and so i i like her i think that she's an interesting character but i'm not sure what her purpose really would be um 
Uh, so it, it just kind of give my thoughts on it just real quick. I mean, she's only on Rage of Clans 5.9, which is still a little bit higher, but not terribly too high for new, you know, for free to play players. Um, she's only got one node. She might have a tournament that comes up so you can get more. But if she it, there's no way to seven star her by, you know, in five days. So I don't know what she's going to do. My indication from them dropping a healer this close is that you're absolutely going to need a healer. If you don't have Soleus, you're probably not going to get it um more doom the first time around uh i just don't see that happening um and so that's kind of where we're at here's where i'm at for humans if you want to take a look at my humans this is where i'm at the five that i currently have uh soleus freezard snorri cruel and little baddie that i don't know if it'll do it um i hope so uh, cause that's what I'm going in with. I have a feeling Eric Shieldbreaker might just be necessary. Um, his, his ability to have, uh, you know, deep de debuff immunity and armor increase for all your allies just may be needed. Uh, I, that, that ability I think is going to be really good. As I said, I, I I'm doing this all as kind of a brain teaser. I have not tested any of this on the test account. I just got my test accounts back up and running. Um, cause I kind of let them lapse a little bit. And so I'm a little bit behind on the test accounts, but I, I have a feeling Eric Shieldbreaker may be needed for this event. Um, as you know, I have the ones that matter, obviously the ones that everybody uses, Batty, Corral, Snorri, Freezard, and Soleus. I hope that's enough. Um, I think there may you just I may need more speed. I've got a lot of good runes on these characters. Um, as you can see, I mean a lot of good runes on these characters. I hope. I hope it's enough to get to get through. Yeah, I probably could even have better runes here on um on little batty uh you know make her a little bit slower i might you know maybe give her more health or you know that sort of stuff i'm not really sure but there's probably more stuff i need to do um on the characters but they're all completely maxed out uh and i i have a feeling we're gonna need to be maxed out or pretty dang close to maxed out um for the event i uh, I don't want to end up in the same area that I was at last time. So as you can see right here, you know, we have the treasury. We have all these new spend energy, spend, spend energy, spend drag coins, these types of things to get more. I think this is really cool stuff. Um, I, I really do. I think that if you're if you're playing this game and you're not at least getting the bundle, um, you know, the this this monthly reward, I think it's well worth it. Even for even it's for me, even if you're playing free to play, uh, if you're a free to play player and you buy this every month, I think that that you're doing a good I think that's a good thing for the game overall. Uh, if you're not, that's OK. I mean, I'm not going to say one way or the other. I do it every month. I want to support the game. I think that's really, really good. I really enjoyed the battle pass this time around um, in my last video we talked about the battle pass and i had an intention to go through every week and talk about the battle pass um as you can see i need 15 more runes for the campaign i've completed week one within week one's time but i did and i completed most of week two i haven't defeated the 35 pandas but as you can see here i'm not i've just you know we obviously just started and we're we're going pretty we're growing pretty good i completed the last battle pass pretty quickly this one shouldn't be all that all that bad um without having to pay for anything extra um tournaments obviously we got some cool tournaments going see we need eric shieldbreaker here and four gladiators um if i remember correctly and i could be wrong let's just check i believe eric the shieldbreaker is a gladiator um but i you know off the top of my head i don't remember he is and he's one of the gladiators i don't i don't have leveled up as you can see i don't need them one of my videos that i've done in the past was you know what gladiators were good for uh click in the right hand corner if you want to see that video um about what are gladiators good for and why they're so important uh but that's but that's really he might i think he just is going to be needed and i just haven't pushed him up so let me talk just a little bit more about what I think is going to be meta defining Zara here. I think she's going to be meta defining. We, this is, and this is the reason why we have potency, uh, 5%, right? Potency and maximum health for all allied orcs increased by 20%. But that's not the part that gets me. The part that gets me here is that when battle starts, all enemies receive tenacity decrease, armor decrease and damage decrease and buff immunity for one turn. So that means right at the beginning, all taunters can't taunt. Right, they can't taunt, and so what you're doing is you're giving yourself an extra turn to be able to 
target people. This directly counters Soleus as well. And I haven't tested it yet. And maybe you, maybe the community knows better than me, but I, I would think that if you're trying to play against her, she may just stop Soleus from being able to even give stuff out at the beginning of battle so for example when the battle starts allied human defenders receive armor increase for three turns uh, human healers and tacticians receive cheat dia for three turns and at the allied human fighters receive potency for three turns and night on the battlefield she receives all these buffs as well if at the start of battle he gets buff immunity that means he's not going to have any of that stuff and i don't know if it's based on speed which one goes first or if at the start of battle it all throws up there i've not seen it i've not really come across her yet um a whole lot in my own arena shard i know she's here but if you look if you currently look at my rankings right my the top person in our in, in the game, uh, which is Ramster, uh, is a part of GNL. He's using her. Um, you know, he's using her, and he's he's clearly you know using that to his advantage. I mean, he doesn't even have a healer here. Um, I've seen some other really good uh, players also running it in a combo like this, um, and they're at the top with Renara. Obviously, you know, you know, Tromgar. It, it's just it's a it's a good combo, and the character's quite good. Um, if you're looking at the top, the top meta, I mean, this is what it is. People are running this, running this, and it, and it may already be out there. Obviously, um, I'm just you know Captain Poon here, right? Same type of thing, and so. And they don't have them completely maxed out. The character's not completely maxed out because I don't think anybody actually can max the character quite out yet. But as you can see, that, that seems to be the way to go. Um, and so it's 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 quite good. And in this one, they have Soleus instead of Renara, which I'm sure works. Um, but of course, you know, Renara is definitely the way to go, I think, um, for it. And then of course, Renara is was a little underwhelming um you know a little underwhelming but I, once again i didn't haven't really played with her uh i haven't been able to do a whole lot about playing you know with her and and seeing what she can do but she can do a second turn if she really wants to she can do a second turn revive which is good and then of course she has 400 percent, which is still not more than soleus but still very very good so as you can see, probably if you have been paying attention quickly, 24 million gold is what I currently have. I've just been hoarding, guys. I, I hoarded and hoarded and hoarded. The reason for that is that I wasn't, I hadn't felt well and I wasn't doing a whole lot. And, you know, I just kind of was guide, go, you know, gliding through the game. Um, and I did it kind of because I had to. Uh, as I, as you guys know, I do like to spend money on this game. I do support this game. I like, I've always told you that if you're going to do these characters, um, if you're going to level them up, right, you might as well get them. Uh, you might as well get the bonus packs. But in, because I've been doing it and not really been paying much attention, as you can see, Lake's almost done. Uh, Phalia's not done, but so her pack's probably worth buying. Um, Ren the Unseen, I assume her pack, her pack's going to be worth buying, uh, probably because it's going to get me closer and closer to seven stars. Um, as you can see, Gorum, I have him. He's a great character. The the goblins have, can beat Soleus, uh, but you have to invest in them, and there hasn't been a reason to to invest in them unless you just love goblins, which I know a lot of my subscribers do. But as you can see, I haven't even unlocked General Murdoch, so there's no point in getting Gorum for me, and we still are waiting for Vanessa, the healer, which is going to make them uh, just as, you know, just better overall as a faction. So... That is what I have been doing. As you can see, I've got Hilda. This is what I ended up do getting. If you guys want to see the pandas that I used, I know um, these are the pandas that I used to unlock. Um, for me to unlock, uh, Renara was Ken Lee lead um, with Ember, Hilda, uh, Feo, and Patriarch uh, Chi. That's the, that's what I did to unlock them. Uh, Unlocker. It wasn't terribly hard uh to do to be perfectly honest with you but as you can see i just started them all up i, I you know i I, just, I didn't mess around with it i just put them all 
I put all the ones that were good enough, and I used Hilda because I figured she was gonna. She's a tank, and allowed me to finish up my tank, um, my tank events as well, or my tank challenges. So when we're looking at challenges here, I'm done currently, uh, but with all of the challenges except for the healer challenge, which I can't remember which one that is. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So I don't have the healer challenge. I expect. I expect to be able to do this when I unlock Renara, which I think is going to be either today or tomorrow. Um, that I'll be on un unlock her and uh, be able to get her up as well. But I'm still thinking about what I want to do uh, to do that. I think what I'm going to end up doing is unlocking Renara, unlocking Zara, paying, getting both of their packs, um, and then going from there. And I do want to unlock General Murdoch as well, but I don't. Then I'd have to unlock Gorum, and then I'm just kind of waiting. Um, cause I'm not sure if I'm going to need Eric shield breaker or not to be leveled up. And if I need to level him up and star him up, I'm going to do that as well. If we want to look at what I've, what I'm currently holding on to 4,000 green to, uh, you know, 1200, uh, blue, uh, abilities. And if you want to see, you uh, can't really see how many purples I have. Let's see. Is there somebody not maxed? Uh, no. Usually I max them out. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to max them out. So, so 1600, uh, 1600 purple ones. So that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, the farms that I've been doing is mostly focusing on the battle pass. Um, that's what I've been doing uh, primarily is focusing on the battle pass. I'm making sure I get my battle pass stuff. Obviously, you want all of these, all of these uh, shards for her. So, and then obviously I have 25 shards left to get of her plus you know so there's 25 shards left and then of course i'll get right now if i unlocked her um let's see i would unlock her at three stars and i don't want to do that i want to unlock her at four stars so i get you know the, the 65 so very 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 good stuff i'm sorry to that, that's kind of what i'm going on right now as you can see i've got energy to spend i've got my daily Let's see if I have my daily going here. Uh, I still need to finish up my 800 uh, Guild of the Gladiators as well. And then, of course, you have your saviors. So if you're watching this the day it comes out, uh, make sure you're saving up your your tower runs for your guild because they'll like that. Um, and you'll get your all your tower all your tower runs in. All right. Well, I really do appreciate you guys coming in and coming to the channel and subscribing and commenting. Like I said, I am back. I am ready to get going. Please hit the Discord channel up. I know we haven't had much going on over there in a while uh, either, but get, get over to the Discord. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, send me DMs. Talk about the game. Uh, let's get going. A shout out to the community for all the love and support. Really do appreciate you guys. Uh, going to be some live streams. I am going to do some live streams as well. Um, I do not have my green screen uh, working, and so I'm not using the camera right now either. Um, but in, once I get the green screen going again, we'll get the camera going back up again, and we'll have some fun. We do have some live streams as well. I am playing... If you guys are interested, uh, Dragon Log Gaming, I am playing uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone a good bit um, on Xbox and computer, either one. Um, and it is just Dragon Log Gaming. So you guys hit me up on Xbox um, or on the computer. More than happy to play uh, with y'all doing that. Might do some streaming of that if there's some interest to watching me get shot and killed. Um, it, it is quite uh, quite a bit of fun to watch me play the first person shooters because um, I am not particularly good. Uh, I I can play, but I, most of the time I'm just getting killed. Uh, and some I have like 20 or something wins. It's fun, but it I'm usually just getting wrecked if you guys are interested in that leave a comment down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss a thing hit that notifications bell and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect